The Long Fall, The Complete History of Ios, as told by Rivasos Vyer. Never on the face of Caim has so great a people fallen so far. Rivasos Vyer, theologian and historian of House Vyer. We stand at a pivotal point in history with nothing less than the very survival of our people at stake. I am honored that the retribution of Skyra have asked me to author this summation of our history. I hope it will unite us as a shared understanding of our origins. We cannot look forward unless we fully understand what has come to pass. Our ancient days have been a mystery to us, ironic given the copious records we know our ancestors maintained in the annals of the old empire. Those documents are forever lost to us, destroyed in the cataclysm. The further we venture into the past, the more uncertain the ground we tread on becomes. In areas where our lore is lacking, I offer my best analysis as a scholar who has devoted his entire life to the study of these matters. The gods and our origins. Throughout our existence, we have been closely bound to our gods. Whether guiding our people from across the Veld or walking among us in the flesh, the gods have, a sh have shared in all of our triumphs and tragedies through the countless generations. By their guidance, the Empire of Laos experienced an age of prosperity lasting almost 6,000 years. The genesis of the gods lies outside of the scope of our meager understanding, as my research has discovered no documents of the, in their words describing their own inception. The tales our priests relate of the gods arising from a union of the moons and the sun are likely allegorical, poetic flights of fancy. Yet whatever their origin, long before our creation, eight gods dwelled in a palace called Laos and ruled a domain called the Veld. The Seer was the unquestioned ruler, the Nasasar of Ages. At her side was the Incisor of Hours, Osiris. We know the gods waged war because Osiris is named the Sovereign of Conflict and General of Laos. We do not comprehend the nature of their wars, but artists have depicted legions of empirical spirits marching at Osiris' behest to patrol the Veld's borders. The gods describe, described the Veld as an oasis surrounded by enemies. Any peace the gods enjoyed was earned through constant vigilance. Beneath Lesair and Osiris are Isla and Nairo. She was Nysaisir of night and watcher of the gates of Laos, and he was Asir of day, Shinishal, and lore keeper. Last of the four gods of our seasons, Syra, Nysisar of Spring, and healer of the Divine Court. Lurinisar, Isar of Summer, arms master of Laos, and chief of scouts. Lilis, Niskarar of Autumn, court assassin, and mistress of poisons. And lastly, Nysur, the Skyder of Winter, and the Great Crafter. Whatever the existence the gods led, it was Lunasar who was first observed mortal souls spilling into the distant wilds of the afterlife. After hearing of this discovery, Lassir followed the path of these souls back to Cain and witnessed the barbarity of their existence. Despite the cruelty and unclean habits of these creatures, the gods saw potential buried within them. These human souls multiplied as their tribes spread, providing a bounty for their creator. The sire was inspired to create their, his own pe her own people, but one more refined. She envisioned a deliberately sculpted species fit to inherit and subjugate the world. The sire became potentate of the living by giving life to our people, while the goddess Skyra served as midwife to soothe her birthing pains. The divine court watched from beyond the mortal divide and guided us in the first days of our existence, teaching us law, civilization, agriculture, writing, construction, as well as the subtle art of magic and the necessary arts of war. 
to us, the gods brought the coherent concepts of the present and the past, the orderly passage of the hours and the division of the seasons as Cain followed its path around the sun. It was they who demonstrated how the cycles of the moons influenced wind, rain, and tide. The gods also embodied the natural processes of life and death. Life begins in the spring with Skyra, governed by birth and growth before passing into Isar's summer heat. Life wanes in the autumn with Lilis before the quiet cold of winter shrouds Nysur's holding court, preparing the land for rebirth in spring. Nairo watched the day and the sun represents our living years, while his counterpart, Aisla, supervises the night and the passage into death in her role as suzerain of the fallen. Our souls are buried or borrowed from the gods who regulated their cycle in the afterlife. When a soul passes on, it travels to the afterlife and meets Isilea at the gates of the Veld to be appraised. Those judged worthy are she allowed to pass into the domain of the gods, there to experience an eternity of grace. Others judged unready, she sent back to be reborn. It is a sacred process that is now lost perhaps beyond recovery. The gods bestow upon us tremendous gifts, blessed by the insight of the divine. Our people advanced rapidly in natural science and other fundamental fields of knowledge. Mathematics, engineering, architecture, and arcane formulae came to us easily and swiftly. The seasonal cycles renewed our bodies even as they renew the land, and bestowing a lifespan longer than any other creature walking Cain. Truly, time was our ally.